says, por favor, Amanda. Gracias. Oh, you're no, bringing you're them to, to us. No, you're supposed to bring us beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Connie and Curtis on Channel Gracias. Oh, gracias. <laughs> no, that's not. What? <laughs> two, be- two beers, please. <laughs> thank you. If a bartender said to you, thank you, when you ordered two beers, you would walk away. Oh, I would yeah. just stand there like this. No. I'd be very confused. No, not, not thank me. Go make me the beers. <laughs> Go make me some beer. <laughs> exactly. Bartender. What, what's wrong with you? I want some beer. Come on, bartender. What's wrong uh, with you? I got a list of what people, uh, what bartenders think of you based on what drink you order. We need to talk about that later on because that is funny. It is pretty funny. And the thing that you drink is definitely highlighted in it as something that people definitely frown upon. Which I, one? I like that. Apple teeny. Uh, no, your beer of choice. Oh yeah, made it in yeah, there. That's hilarious. And you uh, and it, it, Apple Teeny made it in there. That's also something that I drink. Yeah, and the exact reason why I drink it. Yeah, you are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. you Or drink it. am I a genius? You're a genius. I'm a messy genius. Or a mess. I like to think I'm a genius. I think you're definitely a mess. Mojitos, which I like, also on the list, and fit you perfectly. You fit you perfectly. You fit your face perfectly. Yeah, that's not the way to talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Uh, Maybe it is. Gosh, you're salty today. Can I tell you no. uh, that I laughed out loud today when I walked in at 5 o'clock and Jeremiah had posted at 4.40 a.m., Hey, Curtis, did Kentwood get a little rain yesterday? <laughs> oh, it did? What, like an inch a minute? Did you guys get some rain yesterday? Oh, you don't even know. That is I awesome. thought it was hailing. Amanda said it was not hailing because she was standing outside at Meyer. Trying to get a windshield wiper oh. <laughs> that would actually fit on her car. Amanda, yesterday, you want to talk drama. <laughs> uh, Amanda, yesterday, uh, messaged me and said, hey, my my uh, wiper fell off yeah. uh, before work today, yeah. and now it's raining. I'm having a rough time. Luckily, I have one in the back of my car. I'm going to put it on. Uh-huh. And I said, uh, oh, yeah, that's easy. You should have a good time. I walk out. <laughs> she and the interns are uh-huh. like the uh, Keystone cops. They can't figure out this uh, this darn thing. <laughs> so story. me, Mr. Dad, says, all right, fine. Give it to me. And it didn't fit. I was like, "Uh, okay, whatever. Sorry. (laughs) How many windshield wipers did you end up buying that did not work? I have two windshield wipers in my car that do not work. I bought another one yesterday that did not work after someone else tried to help me. And finally, the fourth one that I purchased went on there. Here's my question. Uh, Like when you buy a a lamp for your car or you buy any of these things for your car, there's a book there. Yeah, and I looked at the book and and every time and it told me the number that I needed to buy, which I did. Okay. It turns out I have an extra large J hook. Yeah, you do. As my windshield (laughs) wiper. I was going to point that out. (laughs) That I can't just buy the standard. I have to buy a certain brand. No, I feel her pain because when I had a last time I needed a windshield wiper. Yeah. Uh, same thing happened. I went to like an auto parts place. Okay. And the book they had it, for my car. It was wrong. Did not fit. I once went to an auto parts place and they put the wrong ones on. Oh. <laughs> so uh, it, the one was too long. You know how one is yes. shorter? So they just went ahead and put two long ones on. And then the next time it rained, they caught and I get broke. It broke in half. Oh. And I had to go back there and say, um, are you sure you put this on right? And they go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the guy went. Oh, no. You get one long one and one short one. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're sorry. <laughs> I know. So did you, when, once you finally found the ones that fit, did you buy like a hundred of them? I did not, but <laughs> they, they they do just sell them like at any standard place. It's just, of course, it has to be this one specific brand. Did you write a note and put it in your glove box? No, because my other windshield wiper that's been on there since I got the car was that brand. So I thought, why not buy that brand? After trying like four other brands, I'll just why buy the you same buy, brand. Why didn't you buy that brand to begin with? Because it was expensive. Um, no, because I wanted Rainex. Okay. And uh, the Rainex ones will not fit my car. You wanted Stupid fancy Rainex. <laughs> but yeah, you always got to match. You always want like a matching set of wipers on your okay. car. There you go. Now you know it. I mean, you got it. Write a little note in your your car. I laugh though that you said, "Did you buy one hundred of them?" Because you are the person who finds something and then buys a hundred. Yep. Of if them. I went through what she went through yesterday, I would have two of them in my car for sure. You would. I would have two backup ones in my car. But how often do wiper blades like break off? Or it doesn't matter. Every time they do, it's when you need them. You want one there because otherwise you don't know. You want to have it. You want to. Put yep. it right on your. I don't want to be driving around when it's pouring down rain giant, and it's a monsoon in Grand Rapids. Your giant J hook. Trying to find some. Okay. And what if it happens at night and everything is right. closed? Oh. 
T R O U B L E. You and I have a big struggle with proactivity, don't we? Oh my goodness, absolutely. <laughs> we have a big. He does not understand why I think ahead and handle things before they happen. And then he goes, "Yeah, well, it didn't happen." And I go, "Yeah, that's because I handled it." Right. <laughs> it is a common <laughs> argument with Curtis and I. It is definitely because it kind of we get out in front of everything, I and, do. I, and I like to be behind everything. <laughs> I don't want to be in front of anything. I see ya. Uh, if you can troubleshoot, man, I'm all about troubleshooting. Yeah. <sighs> is it going to be sunny today? Uh, supposedly later on. Okay. This has changed the Isn't subject. it like murky and... Well, foggy. It's so foggy. foggy. and humid and... Did you guys have the fog down in Kentwood? Yeah, we did have the fog. Oh, we had the fog. Something the fog fierce. and the mist. It was like two movies oh, put were, in one. Were there gorillas? No. Because that would have been a third movie. No, I don't. Fog, The Mist, Gorillas in the Mist. There may have been black bears. I did not see any. Couldn't see one. But I've heard that they've moved south, and they have gone as far south as Kent I've heard. I've heard they're walking around, just eating honey like they do, and fishing. (sighs) Eating honey. And fishing, that's what they do. They usually stay in wooded areas. Thank goodness. This is not like a moment where I'm losing my mind. It was actually on the news. (laughs) Are there woods in Kentwood? Yeah. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Woods in- Not Kentwood, Kent County. Oh, Kentwood is live? what I'm talking Kent about. Kent County? I live in Kent County. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-uh. I don't have woods by me, you though. You might have a black bear. Yeah, but some of them roam out. That's how we see them around people's houses. Oh, they get out of the woods. Uh, yeah, I don't. But usually they stay in the woods. Okay. But it's mostly the boy bears. But mm. what are they doing? They're the ones leaving the woods. They're just hanging out like, hey, I got to go find some place else to live. Mm-hmm. I'm blowing this pop stand. Mm-hmm. See ya. Adios. Mr. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hey, can you imagine sitting in your backyard and you look over? Oh, like, I can. Oh, I love my chimney. Uh, it's so warm. Roar! Let's roll. Yeah. <laughs> Roar! Eat, eat, eat your neck. Yeah, bite your face. Roar! Oh, eat your cat. Roar! Your bird seed. Roar! 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 Bird seed. Yeah. Roar! Oh, time to walk. Oh, eat your neighbor. Ooh, a merch fellow. How many bears could... It- Hey, how many people could a bear eat before like the cops could get there? The two, bear, two people, and then the cops I don't know are right up. Do they eat you? I don't know. They they, they smack definitely you. Maul. They, they smack drag you. you around. <laughs> I don't know. They play with you like your cat plays with uh, mice and things. Yeah, because they think, hey, look at this, a chew toy. <laughs> this doesn't squeak. <laughs> this is no good. Did you see any deers today? I did not see deers. I did yesterday you in did. Kenwood. Oh my really? goodness! Yes. Breton and 44th. Right there. How many? There. Just one. It Breton was like, and 44th? Yeah. Yeah. It was like there's a church. kind. Of, it's it's on Breton Road. It's more like it's right across from Family Fair. Okay. And it was just like frolicking in the, frolicking. the front yard. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Like, Maybe oh, there's a deer. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It was like 5 p.m. Yeah, that's weird. Then three minutes later, bear ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Uh, <laughs> eating this deer. Frolic. <laughs> family Fair. <laughs> Maybe it was going to do a little shopping. Yeah, maybe it's just hungry. You always see those videos of deer that go through window, or sometimes moose. Yes, most times. They go times. through. <laughs> <laughs> they most. go through a window in a store, and they're just like slipping all over. Yeah, the they place. don't know what to do. They're surprised. They're like, "Wait a minute! I was just trying to give that other deer that I saw a kiss, and then I smashed through that big <laughs> glass thing. I hate this." Mmm, Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they found the Cheetos. I love <laughs> Cheetos too. Yeah. Connie and Curtis. Connie. I'm holding on your own, got me some feet off the ground. <laughs> Tim Milan on channel 95.7. I can't hear you when I have my headphones in. <sighs> I your headphones weren't in. No, but yours were. We're so I, fight today. I assume that we couldn't <laughs> hear each other. Why are we going to fight? Because it was so rainy at your house yesterday? I said we're going to fight. Oh, we are going to. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for that. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You know what else I like? What else do you like, Curtis? I like giving stuff away. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is something um, th- no one else in West Michigan or Grand Rapids is going to be able to say that they were on the stage with John Legend at Frederick Meyer Gardens. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next Wednesday is the show. It's sold out. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, not for you, hopefully, though, because we have a pair of tickets. Absolutely. You will get to not only see John Legend at Meyer Gardens, you will get to sit on stage while he is performing, and you get to meet him. You get to meet him. You get to uh, take pictures if you have a camera. You get to uh, hang with him before the show, and then Pretty you're cool. on stage while he performs right there. Now, we uh, need you to play a little uh, game. It's karaoke. 
That's just you this singing. This is a Curtis brainchild. It's you singing <laughs> along to uh, John Legend, All of Me, in your car. It's that oh. easy. Of me. Yeah, you send us a video. So have somebody take it. So you're driving or you're a passenger, whatever. Or somebody, you're sitting in your driveway. Somebody takes a, a video of you singing along to all of me. Mm-hmm. You email it to us. It's email at ConnieandCurtis.com. We throw them all up on YouTube. And on Monday morning, 9 o'clock, the video with the most views Wins. Wins. It's that easy. Yes. It's that easy. Literally. It's that easy. You send us a video. We put it on YouTube. If it gets the most views, you win. Now, make sure you have somebody else videotape you doing it. Connie is very concerned that you are going to get hit by a train. I do not want you to uh, be using your mobile device while you are driving right. to win some some tickets. What if you have a GoPro and it's uh, <laughs> it's attached to your head and you're driving and singing? No. And you're not even looking at it? No. What if you have a, a webcam <laughs> on a laptop and it's sitting in your car in your passenger seat that would while, probably you, be okay. while you're driving that would probably be and okay. you're singing? I don't know. What if uh, you set your camera phone <laughs> on the dashboard while you're driving and you sing? Okay, so what you have to do is uh, get the video of you singing the song, All of Me. You need to email it to us. Email. It's the word email right. at ConnieAndCurtis.com. Now, if you're thinking, oh, And then my- you got to tell all your friends that, that they need to go this weekend and watch it. they got to watch it. And if yeah. you're thinking, ah, I, don't, I don't know all the words to all of me. We don't need you singing the whole song. We just need you singing part of the song. Right. You get it. Uh, we have it for you right now. My channel 957.com. We have the video. We play it all the time. Just be riding around. We have it right here. Why don't you show what, what we're supposed to be doing, Curtis? All of you. Yeah. Your theme. Confident. And you don't even know, need to know the words. You go, I don't know the band. Imperfections. Imperfections. Oh. To me, give my, give my all to you. you. Yeah, and you're driving. I do some pretending. And then you save it, you email it to us. Oh, I just wanted to say if you could hit that note. At email at ConnieandCurtis.com. And uh, who knows, Monday morning, 9 o'clock, you could be uh, our winner. You could be going on stage and backstage. It's that? pretty much all around the stage. Seriously. If there is somebody that you are trying to woo, oh, this is like the best date show. This is the a, woo it's show. John Legend, right? B, it's at Meyer Gardens. If right. C, you're on stage, right? Uh, what was I at? C, D, you get to meet him. And then what's the next one? E, you might get a kiss at the end of the night. And E, who knows? Maybe you'll get a uh, a record deal from I'm posting you singing on the YouTube. Yeah, you never know, right? That worked for Kobe Calais. Could work for you. It did. worked for Bieber. <laughs> Might work for you. You never know. You never know. All of me, when you hear it, or just grab the uh, video online and sing along to it, and then email us. Karaoke. You could be uh, you could be winning. Email at ConnieandCurtis.com. <laughs> All right, 630. <laughs> 641 on Channel 95.7. You're making a lot of noises over there. <laughs> With all the noises. I don't know. I've been very burpy this morning. Well, that wasn't a burp. That was a snort. Okay. But I was very burpy this morning, and I don't know why. It's not. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. You didn't wolf down had, some food? No, I haven't eaten anything. I had my little gas station cappuccino. Okay. Did you drink uh, it real fast? It, it makes me laugh to burp loudly in the studio. Yeah. Because Curtis impersonates it. It sounds nothing like <laughs> my burp. But his impersonation of my burp right. cracks me up. Every I think time. it sounds exactly like your burp. It sounds nothing like it. So Connie will go blah, and I'll go blah, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's oh. like, oh, "Okay, I didn't do that." I'm like, "Oh my goodness, you did do that. You're a big burper." It doesn't sound anything like that. Like maybe not in your head, but to the outside world, that's what you're you're giving off. Uh, blah. I don't burp in public though, just in here. And I appreciate. I don't it. even burp at home. Really? I don't. I think it's you. You give me indigestion. I can- <laughs> <laughs> what the problem? Is I think I make you sick to your tummy. I don't know. Something is happening. Okay. Hmm. Well, I apologize. That's okay. I just had a, a blueberry donut that was obviously left over from yesterday. Want to know how I know? Because it, it was hard. No, it was very soft. Okay. Uh, it had icing on it, mm-hmm. and the icing had all run off to the bottom of oh. the tray. So only half of the donut came out of the tray. It uh. stuck to it. So then I had to like scoop it out with my fingers, and then. Mmm, mmm, look at it. It was so good. Was it good? So, so good. Are you going to have another one? Probably have four more, yeah. And then you're going to be complaining all day? Yeah. My stomach hurts. I'll be sick. I and, don't but then we'll be twins. Good. We'll be two sick people. I don't have a stomach ache. No, you just have a lot of you- gas. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It'll be completely quiet in the studio at 5.15. 
And I'll burp. Bah. And then I'll go, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I just answer it. And uh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Every time. I think I do it. Just so to that, hear you make fun of it, so that I will because do it. I love your Connie burp, and I'm uh, like I'm uh, online, I'm reading some article or something, and she's like blah, and I go blah. And, and I just, and it's like how we communicate exactly. from five to six. Yeah, I I re- respond only to her burps before six uh, o'clock in the morning, but then six o'clock comes and woo, get ready. I don't yeah. burp the rest of the day. No, you're burp it's just free. at five in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel so can, blessed. Can I tell you something? Yes. This is a weird thing. I have been having these dreams. Oh, no. Normally, I don't remember my dreams. Okay. But I ro- woke up at 1 o'clock this morning, right after I had this dream, and I realized that I've had this dream several times in the past, I don't know, a few weeks. Okay. What's the dream? It's about kangaroos. Love kangaroos. But they're not kangaroos. Are they boxing? They look like rabbits. Okay. But they look like rabbits that have stalks growing out of them, but somebody cut stalks? them down. Stalks? Like if they were to have tree limbs growing out of them, okay. but somebody cut them down, so they're all stubby. How disgusting is that? Stubby kangaroo rabbits is what you're dreaming about. But in in my dream, I'm like, oh my gosh, look, there are 20 kangaroos. And what are they? <laughs> and they're clearly in real life. They look nothing they're like not, a kangaroo. They're not a real kangaroo. They look like a wild rabbit. What uh, What are you having for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> is what I wanted. Like, you have wings. You don't even want to know what I had for dinner yesterday. Oh, no, now I do. Now you've piqued my interest. What did you have for well, dinner? Well, we're trying yesterday? to get rid of everything in our pantry because we're moving right. into our house that we're buying. That yes. I'm so excited about. Yay. Um, so we're trying to clean everything out okay. freezer, fridge, pantry, everything. So last night for dinner, you. Ramen. Oh, I love ramen. Me too. So good. Did you use the packet? Yes. Oh, yeah. You got to throw that packet away. Why? Because it's just like a million sodiums. Seriously. I love sodiums. That's uh, that's all the sodiums that for a week in one packet. I know. That's why I haven't bought Roman in a th- Roman or, or ramen. ramen in a thousand years. Okay. But it's been in there. I, I it may have moved here with us. I l- <laughs> I'm not really sure. That's the great thing about Roman is you can just hang on to it forever, <laughs> right? It never goes uh, bad because it's, it's dehydrated neutral. 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 <laughs> We're bad at talking. Uh, just- <laughs> We're bad at talking. We cannot talk at all. One, uh, A, and then B, we also It could burp. be, except for I don't have ramen very often. Right. Well, and so what did you like have? You just had the, twice You just year. had the noodles and the broth? Yeah, with some croutons in it. Mmm. Put a little more salt in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I've already had 800% of my sodium. Let's go ahead and get that up to 1,000. Uh, isn't that a weird dream? That is. So you and I think keep they're having kangaroos. a dream about, like in my dream, everybody thinks they're kangaroos. But they're definitely not. They're wild rabbits with little stumps on them. You know what that makes me think? What? You think everyone around you is a dummy. What? And, and you think you're a dummy, and too. And I think I'm a dummy? Yeah, and you're like, these aren't kangaroos. Do you explain to people that they're not kangaroos? No, because in my dream, we all think they're kangaroos. That's what kangaroos look like in my dream. Okay. Maybe We're in, look, like, weird kangarooville. Maybe you should go to Australia. Maybe that's what that means. Maybe that you got a trip. Maybe down under. Huh? <sighs> I don't know. It's Good day. Weird. Good day. Good to say that. Put another shrimp on the barbie. Good day. <laughs> You just yell and you're Australian. Uh, yeah. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda's burping in here. Uh, what is uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, so you've been having the crazy stumpy rabbit or kangaroos dream. Yeah, very weird. I had a weird dream uh, last night too, but you I did. don't remember anything about it. Oh. <laughs> then like, how do you even know you had it? <laughs> because I remember waking up and being like, that was a weird dream to oh. have. And, and why don't we remember our dreams really? I don't know. The only reason I remember this dream is because I've been up since then. You've been up since 1 o'clock? Yeah. O-M-G. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's why I remember it. Oh. Because I didn't go back to sleep. Because you couldn't. Right. Because of the weird-looking kangaroos. Uh, just a lot of things. You woke up at 1 o'clock? Yeah. Uh, and you, did you lay in bed? Yeah. And you didn't go back to sleep? No. Did you close your eyes and like try to count backwards from 300? I did! And? Somebody posted that on our Facebook page the other day. And did it work? I got to uh, I get, I got to 270. Okay. And realized that every 30, it's the same numbers, so it's not going to be challenging. But it's not a challenge; it's just focusing. <laughs> so you counted to 10, basically, is what you did, and then stopped. I went 300. Yep. 297. Mm-hmm. 294. Right. 291. Right. Whatever. I went all the way down, and then I realized. Yeah, <sighs> yeah you counted to 10. This is going to be the same thing over and over again. You were supposed to count to zero. Whatever. I tried it. It didn't work. 
I don't feel like you gave it a, a chance. I did give it a chance. You counted to 10. She says comebacks from 300 by 10s. Curtis? You counted to 10. Don't argue with me. I can't help it. I've been it. up since 1 o'clock. I can't help it. Don't argue with I've me. I've been up since 1230 o'clock. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Connie and